morning the ow I might sound a bit odd. That's because I'm recovering from a really bad migraine. I still feel a bit nauseous, so I'm not able to fully eat very much. It happens with me once every few months, and I think because it's suddenly gotten very cold, it was minus four, minus five yesterday. I think the cold has kind of triggered my migraine. Anyway, that's the bit about my migraine. But I have a lot of admin sort of things to catch up on from work, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. That's all on the work front i have something exciting with me which is a fortnum and mason advent calendar it's a very christmasy thing in the uk to have lots of advent calendar kind of things whether it's to do with skincare jewelry tea coffee etc chocolates and all that this was gifted to me by my husband a month back for those of you who know me know that i have zero freaking patience zero self control and i would have opened this ended up using it for the entire last month the moment i got it on the 1st of november what I did was packed it away in my suitcase so that it's out of my sight and I don't get tempted to open it. And I put it out last night because today is the day when I'm going to officially inaugurate it. It's uh, got lots of tea leading up to Christmas day so I'll be trying one new tea flavor every day. Today is the 1st of December so we are going to open this one which is the first one. Let's do it together. very nicely have put instructions at the back of it for all the teas leading up to Christmas. Brew for 5 minutes and best serve with milk. I actually don't like my tea with milk but I'm going to give this a try. Oh and how cute is this mug? I got this from DK Maxx. I think it costed us £1.50. We do our cutlery shopping, cattle shopping and lots of luxury brands at subsidized rates in DK Maxx. You guys saw this vlog begin in the morning with me literally stood here and I'm back to standing in the same kitchen. It's been an absolutely mad chaotic day. Even if I was working from home, I barely had any time. There was lots of things that popped up in the afternoon with kids deteriorating and yeah anyway lots of things happen in the afternoon lots of urgent things that needed to be done but it's past 5 p.m although it's december i still have a little more than a month remaining in the job i cannot wait to finish this job for a few different reasons but not because i don't like the consultant or i don't like you know team members i just think i need a little bit of a break and when this job finishes i do have a break planned in that is the sole reason why that break is what is it's so tempting i just want to come ASAP. So for now, I'm all dressed up. It honestly doesn't matter what you wear on the outside. It really matters what you wear on the inside. And I'm wearing these thick fleece inners, heat tech inners from Uniqlo. I'm wearing inside the sweater and also inside my denims as well. And I'm going to put on my puffer jacket because it's minus five degrees. I had zero motivation to go out. I do want to go out. It's just minus five degrees is not very tempting. I put up on my broadcast channel on Instagram that guys, I need some motivation. I want to go out on a solo date and I need some motivation from you guys. And so many of you wrote messages which struck the right chord. And so I got ready. Quick outfit change. I was in my sweatpants to straighten my hair, put on some basic little makeup. And I'm good to go. I'm going to go grab a coffee, decaf coffee, of course. Then I'm going to go to Central to see some lights. And then I'm craving for some ramen. My periods are around the corner. So I have like weird cravings. Like yesterday, I was craving for baklava and today I'm craving for ramen. They're not related at all. They're from two different corners of the world. But today we are going to go and secure ramen. That's the plan. And I'm going to take you guys with me. Also, you guys might ask that maybe I should put something on my head to protect my ears. These headphones, they block out the noise. <laughs> they put me in my own small little world. This is the look. I'm going to put on my puffer and let's go. Angels, we have heard on her. Sweetly singing all the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing their joyous strains 
called the lost estate it's a whole christmas feast with christmas carol play of charles dickens if my nose is watering it's because it's so cold From the Royal Opera House Orchestra, please give the warmest welcome to the one, the only, Davina Copperfield, Madame Bentley Boom Boom Pumblechook, and Mr. Harvey Tabby Drop! There was no one in his dressing gown, which was hanging up in a suspicious attitude against the wall. Yes, we all know that one, don't we? Well, because a slight disorder of a stomach makes some treats. I never switch on my camera when I'm in at work but I've got a bit of a moment to myself today is a Friday and I'm taking you guys along with me I've had medication review in the morning I've had my supervision so I'm gonna sit down and do the notes for the patient I just saw and do the GB clinic letter as well we've got a medics meeting in the afternoon and I'm gonna be leaving a bit early so that I can get home and get all dressed for the Christmas do this evening really excited it's a set meal menu kind of thing basically we picked our courses already for now I'm having my day eight Christmas advent tea calendar thing. Today's tea is black tea with vanilla. Very excited. Very tasty. This is my new tea tumbler at work. It is by this brand called Chili's. Highly recommend it. The tea stays warm for a few hours actually. Yeah, that's it. I never get the time to switch on my camera at work and I have done it because I'm alone in the team office room. Don't know how long I'll have this team office room alone to myself. I also wanted to show that yesterday I went and got my Christmas nails done. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's it's got this nice shiny red glittery Christmassy vibe. Alrighty, I am fully ready to go for our Christmas do. And this is my outfit. I'm wearing this cute little skirt. We just got this nice detail of lots of pearls and the shimmery things. And filming this on my camera because I don't have time. Um, the bus is arriving in the next two minutes and I need to be there by 5.30. So off we go. Every Christmas, baby Reindeer's coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay This is how 
Covent Garden. I love the bow in my hair today. I don't know if you guys can see it. We are going for dinner, Christmas dinner with Gino and Luxi. And then we're just gonna stroll around and walk around Central, see Christmas lights and Christmas decor. Okay, now we're off. is coming yeah. start sending your letters off to Santa Work. This was my Christmas secret Santa present. And you know what's the funniest thing about this sentence? Mm -hmm. The consultant is like, by the way, do you realize it's grammatically incorrect? It should be an influencer. And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like, now I'm not gonna stop looking at it and thinking <laughs> of that. Like, thanks for letting me know that the person who got me present has written it wrong. Yeah, I'm grateful I got a present. And it's funny. It's to have a good laugh. We are going where? to watch Ricky Gervais live. It's Dean's birthday present from me. As you can tell, he's very excited and I'm not like, I was leaving from work just now and people are like, oh, where are you going? I said, I'm going for the stand-up comedy. It's a birthday present mm -hmm. for my husband. And they thought like, I'm like just going for some random mm -hmm. place for some, some random guy mm -hmm. because I was making these random faces. And then they're like, oh, who's the guy? And I was like, Ricky Gervais. And they were all like, why are you making that face and saying Ricky yeah. Gervais? Have you not watched Afterlife? And I'm like, no. Anyway, let's go. goes to a charity and you've raised nearly two million pounds so far so thank you morning guys oh cheers we are off to see some Christmassy stuff in central but that's the plan for the day so off we go Look at the freaking crowds here. Yeah. How crowded is this? Very. Only in London do you see Santa come in G-Wagon. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand. And watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. It's really, really crowded. Not surprised. It's the weekend. I think one weekend prior to Christmas because next weekend is Christmas, right? You can look at me and speak. You don't have to keep looking. There. Camera like, conscious. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, news reporter. 
but yeah, it's like one weekend prior to Christmas. It's so busy. It's All so the tourists freaking. out. Yeah, I mean, we are tourists in our own city. Not that cold as well, which is great. It's just 10 degrees, which is unheard of for December. But we'll take what we get. I wanted to say something important and useful, but I have nothing important and useful to say. Just that we're enjoying the view. And this is probably one of my most favorite Christmas years. Mm, same. We've We've, yeah, we've like kind of spaced out all our plans. Sundays is just to stay at home, so Saturdays we do things. I hope it, this has picked up all the voice of everything I've just said. If not, then well, it doesn't I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memory Hello, hello, hello We have come back from all the exploring that we did in central London Today's plan is for me to cook dinner I am craving for something hot, soupy, vegetable, brothy Like a minestrone, minestrone, however it said, soup I found this recipe on TikTok Got all the veggies laid out So we shall see how it goes Let's crack on either domestic or foreign policy. first year that we are alone the kids have all flown now I've got a thought dear been planning on my own so what would you think Everything is closed. Happy, <laughs> Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas to Mono and Dee! Oh. Yeah. Missing you! Miss you too! Mono has told me you have to repeat the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say your feelings. <laughs> so I miss you! That is good advice. Good advice, tell your yeah. feelings. I said basically to her to be more expressive. When I say I love you, she doesn't say it back. I'm like, why didn't you say it back? She's like, I thought in my head. I'm like, how do I know what you're thinking? You need to say it out loud. Out and about to do Christmas meal shopping. It's Christmas Eve. We are currently cooking up a storm. We've got vegan. What are these? Meatballs. We've got vegan meatballs, vegan sausages, vegetable pizza. So fancy. Anything. It's so bright. Vegetable pizza. There's lamb masaka in the oven. So we're putting up all the decor. Why are you smiling? 
Just to find the bumps. So, we have put up Christmas decor, not Christmas decor. We put up like Christmas table setting. We are currently writing cards for our neighbors. And then we are going to eat and watch a movie. Yay, our own little Christmas traditions. Yes. Exciting. When it's time for Christmas, yay! Sing a carol and we'll bring it here. I guess that spring and summer they're all fine, but I've been waiting. So I want to do a bit of a background story on this amazing bottle of whiskey that I have. It's a nice single malt Scotch whiskey from Fortnum and Mason, and if I read the description, it's absolutely insane. Aged in the ex sherry casks for which Bayside is renowned, this is a Truly exemplary whiskey from a hidden gem of a distillery. Enjoy with just a drop of water so the whiskey can fully unfurl its layers of dried fruit, sandalwood, roasted nuts, enticing floral and spice aromas. It's from Glasgow, Scotland. And the way I got this whiskey is by lucky draw. At work, one of the nurses' brother every year gets the Portnum and Mason advent calendar, which has all the alcohol. So there's obviously 25 days to the Christmas day, and 25th day is the nice bit. Scotch. So when we all picked the draws, I picked the lucky number 25 and I got this nice bottle of scotch which we are opening today for Christmas. So I was telling Dean that you know a glass of Dino or wine would be nice but Dean said we are making our own tradition so scotch it is. Let's get started with the food. Why I cheer. I've been busy decking the halls. I've been kind to big and small. And now it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling when it's time for Christmas Let's sing a carol and we'll 